Hey guys, this is Scar. We're doing a little bit different of a video today. We're going to do how to set up a helmet for motovlogging. I have a uh, subscriber that requested it. And so that's what we're going to do today. I'll show you what exactly the products I use. And also we're going to focus with an emphasis on the audio. Because audio is a huge part in motovlogging. Uh, most people get the camera part down, but they have issues with audio. I know I did. Uh, it took me about almost a year to find a YouTube video that explained what I was doing wrong. So we're going to go ahead and uh, jump right into this. Okay, so for the first thing you're going to want to get is a really good helmet. You're going to want one that fits snug. And also what's very important is that it has a chin curtain. The chin curtain is going to help deflect the wind when you ride. It will help uh, make your audio clearer and have less distortion than if you didn't have a windscreen at all. So me, I use a Scorpion XO R420 helmet. Uh, it's like less than 200 bucks, but it, it does a good job with holding my face snug. It has the chin curtain. I bought the aftermarket uh, face shield, you know, visor or whatever. Uh, so you can't see inside the helmet just if you wanted to do that. Um, but it's really good for the audio. It cuts out a lot of air, but also could keep my head cool. Okay, so for the next part, you're going to want to think about is how you want your GoPro mounted on your helmet. Do you want it on the side of your helmet where you get part of your helmet showing in your videos? Or do you want something more immersive in doing the chin mount thing? Um, for this helmet, I had to get a specially designed chin mount bracket or whatever um, from Ridetech. Uh, because the standard GoPro curved one wouldn't fit on the chin. So from Ride Tech, they it's specially designed for your helmet. It fits perfect. Um, it comes with some 3M tape, but I had it fall off while I was riding. So I just came home and chose to epoxy it, and it's solid now. It's not going anywhere. All right, so the next part is going to be the camera. Now, all of my rig is set up for this specific camera. I use a GoPro Hero 7 Black. Um, it's good for what I need it for. Um, for moto vlogging, but I wouldn't recommend it for any other use uh, This camera if you're not on the motorcycle, you know cruising down the road having a lot of air hit it If you're just hiking or whatever this camera will overheat on you and shut down, but for moto vlogging it's perfect So I would recommend it. It's pretty cheap. It's not the newest thing out there But for this setup that I'm showing you this is what I use and it works you're going to want to get a high endurance memory card for it just so it could keep up because I run the GoPro on 2.7K at 60 frames per second. That's pretty good for moto vlogging. Uh, I also put it in the super view mode so you could see uh, the handlebars and all kinds of stuff like that. Okay, so the next part you're going to need is a housing for your GoPro unit. I use Ulanzi. The bottom portion of the housing right there, the rectangular portion, holds a GoPro mic adapter. The GoPro will not pick up any external microphones if you do not use this specific GoPro adapter. Now the thing is really bulky. Most people just Velcro it onto the sides of the helmet, but that looks kind of tacky. So I mean the thing is... It's less than 20 bucks for the housing that could hold it in there. Why not get it? It makes your helmet look a lot cleaner and it's pretty good quality piece. Okay, so the next part you're going to need is that bulky GoPro adapter that I was just telling you about. I mean, look how huge that thing is. Just get the housing, put it in the housing. You have a cleaner looking helmet. But the thing is, there's no way to get around having this adapter after you go past a certain GoPro generation. As soon as you go past a certain GoPro generation, I think it's like the GoPro 4 or something like that, this is required for an ex any external microphone. So it's just a money grab. It is what it is. But if you're going to take anything positive away from it, it's next to that circular microphone input port. There's a port right next to it, and that's to charge the GoPro with like a external uh, charger. So I mean, if you're gonna get a silver lining out of spending 50 bucks for a GoPro adapter, that's about it. Okay, so this part right here held me up for about a year, trying to figure out what was going wrong. I had the external microphone, 
I was trying to plug it in straight to that adapter I just had on the screen and it just wasn't catching. I wasn't, it wasn't registering with the GoPro and I was trying to figure it out and I came across this guy's YouTube video, uh, way in the back pages of YouTube, but he explained what it is and it turns out that GoPro adapter I just had on the screen has to have a TRS microphone input. Now the microphone I was using has a TRRS input, so it just wasn't registering. I had to get an adapter to convert my microphone's TRRS input into a TRS input, which would work with the adapter, the specific GoPro adapter, and so I could get audio from the external microphone. Okay, so this is the microphone that I use. I use the Power DYS microphone. Uh, if you're wondering whether your microphone is a TRRS or a TRS um, for the adapter, the TRRS, like this one, have those three black lines on the end of the uh, jack right there. The TRS will have two. So that's just something to keep in mind, something that threw me off for the longest time. I also use a dead cat uh, windscreen over this microphone just to prevent any excess wind noises that make it in. Okay, so here's the helmet that I have uh, with it all set up right here. I have the Cardo Pack Talk Bold uh, turning to the side right here, show you the better visual of the GoPro. So there's the camera, there's the housing. The bottom part right there is for that adapter that the GoPro needs. And see, it, it goes right into the door, open door right there of the GoPro. Uh, there's a charging port for it. And right there, there's the TRS adapter. Now, right here is the chin screen, which is good. That's going to take a lot of the wind noise away. Let me just a flashlight. Okay, so anyway, I have that adapter cruising back and going beneath, behind the cheek pads there. So that center mic that you see, that's for the Cardo. That's not the mic that we're using. The fuzzy one is, that's the dead cat on top of the Power DYs. That's the, for the black right there. But that one right there is the mic that we're using for the GoPro. Okay, one last thing that I have to mention is when you're getting ready to go out on your moto vlogs and start doing them, make sure that your GoPro does not have anything hooked into it before you turn the GoPro on because it will not register. It won't catch that you have an external mic in. You have to turn the GoPro on and then connect the... Uh, external adapter right there uh, for it to register for an external microphone uh, so just, just a little side note on that save you the headache okay guys so that's going to go ahead and conclude the video of how i set my helmet up for moto vlogging um, how to get good audio for it uh, everything you're going to need to know as far as the audio is concerned now every moto vlogger has their own different ways of doing things but for me this is exactly what i do these are the exact products that I use. So uh, if it helped you out, uh, please consider subscribing. Click the like button. Thanks again for watching. This is Scar, and I'll see you guys out on the road. Ride safe. Bye-bye.